For anyone that has spent more than 10 minutes on the internet or driving down any road in the last couple of years, you would have seen a myriad of different billboards and ads advertising a new loan or a new type of loan or a different way to get access to more funds. I think a lot of the financial institutions, R2E, have been too willing to offer credit to the customers without checking if they can really afford it. For example, if we look at just simple store credit that you can find in most shops in South Africa now, you'll see that you pay a significant premium on the item that you're actually purchasing. For example, when buying this laptop in store, you will pay 4,799 Rand in cash, whereas you, if you were to buy it on credit uh, for 317 Rand, which sounds very reasonable, over a period of 24 months, you would pay a whopping 7,608 Rand, meaning you'll pay 165% of the total purchase price for the exact same item. When looking at this television that you can buy for 3,799, you can also opt to buy it on credit for an amount as small as 260 Rand over 24 months. While this sounds cheap, that will bring your total for the same television up from 3,799 to 6,240 Rand, which equates to 164% of the total purchase price. And lastly, when looking at buying this washing machine for 2999 versus buying it on a loan agreement for 213 Rand over 24 months, you will pay a total of 5,112 Rand. That is 170% of the total value that you will pay. As you can see from these examples, there is a significant premium to buy something on debt, even if it seems like a very small amount in your monthly budget. So if you cannot afford to buy something in cash, it's usually better to save for it or to reconsider the item you're buying.